Hello everyone, this is Luke, and you're watching OPK Gaming. This is episode 7, I believe, of our Minecraft Minecraft Let's Play. And where we left off, we were making our amazing pumpkin farm that has been epically failing. So what I'm going to do for the rest of this little episode, I, actually, sorry, not for this episode, is fix what's going on. Because as you can see, it's just not working too well. It's kind of getting screwed over, and then just the pistons are getting stuck, and... Yeah, it's it's just not looking great. So why I may, I'm, so what I'm gonna do is have to fix because I completely changed the contraption. I completely changed it. So what I'm gonna have to do is actually make it differently, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I will. Also, what I can do, I believe, is instead of having pistons, oops, uh, it's sorry about that. So what I have to do now, I I may want to try putting the pistons on top facing down so they'll destroy all the pumpkins because see it just it screws up it just messes up big time yeah so i think i may just leave the pump the pistons above and have them work on the bottom so i'm going to do that right now i kind of did a few things while we were i guess gone and well what i did was first someone told me that i should put four sticks in a p pattern, like one, two, three, four, like that, and it creates these things right here, crops. And crops, when placed onto fertilized ground, just like this, will actually start growing, and they will actually make crops for you. It's pretty pretty neat, if you if I say so myself. And actually, I want to see if I have... No, I don't have any more bone meal, but whatever. Actually, I probably organize that. There we go. Much better. But what I did was I actually found out that you can make a pumpkin harvester. And I was complaining last episode that I can't make it because I don't have any melons. Well, now I do. And actually, to make a melon, all you have to do is right-click a pumpkin, just like that. And it makes a melon. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I already made it in the, the transmutation tablet, so that doesn't really matter. And yeah, well, luckily, we have that. Okay, that literally just made no sense, but whatever. And as you can see here, I actually added this thing to the top of the antimatter relay. It's the, I believe it's, what is this? I'm not exactly sure. Well, I'm sure, it's condenser. I believe it's the condenser. So what you can actually do is take the energy and make it into something else. And what I'm doing right now is actually making another dark matter. So this is the target, and it's actually going to make dark matter and throw it right here. I can make whatever I want. I can make redstone, I can make glowstone, I can make, it, it literally, as many things as you want. So what I did was I targeted red matter, so it's just going to spend the next however long making that. And on a side note, I actually finished my house a little bit. As you can see, the entire place is now roofed and nice and secure. I don't have any doors, but whatever. And yeah, so here's the downstairs area, still downstairs. What I want to show you is what I changed. So down here, I actually added, I got the, I made another and energy collector, so I need to close my door real quick. Okay, so I added another energy collector, as you can see here, and actually I upgraded all the energy collectors to Mark II with the dark matter, and I also upgraded the energy, I believe, no, sorry, it's the antimatter relay that's right above this one right here to a Mark IV, no, three, Mark three, which is red matter. So basically, that Mark IV is getting giving light, <laughs> Mark three is giving light to all of these, basically producing enough light for each of these to produce maximum efficiency or energy the maximum amount of energy yeah so basically that's how this whole system works and eventually i'm going to probably make it up to like this high but and probably i'd say this wide but as of right now it is still it's nice and small not too obtrusive and the cool thing is yeah well you can make whatever you want and another cool thing I made was the, or I'm going to make now, is the pumpkin harvester. So it requires two melons, two pumpkins, and four glass around a logger. And luckily we have here a logger, which unfortunately you can't, oops, wrong one. You can't, for, I don't know why, but you can't make loggers inside of the transmutation tablet, which is rather unfortunate, but whatever, who's going to complain? And we're going to run over here into a nice flat area and... Actually, the cool thing is about the pumpkin harvester is it actually makes the pumpkins one or the the dirt one below, and actually only need yeah, only needs the initial pumpkin seeds. It doesn't need anything past the initial pumpkins. 
So I'm going to place it probably uh, right here. There you go. And now we need a build craft engine to power it, or a forestry engine, either one. And it doesn't look like... Oh, there you go. Steam engine. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to throw this right here. And we're going to actually... Huh. That's weird. Oh, I think this is the pumpkin harvester. So we're going to look for pumpkin planter, because I'm guessing there's a different thing. So yes, pumpkin farm. Okay, a pumpkin farm is made with an arboretum and the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and make that, or at least get the resources for it. Okay, so I got the resources real quick. Didn't take too long. So we need four glass like that around an arboretum, which I literally just... Okay, there it is. <laughs> I was like, oh no, don't tell me I lost it and completely... Yeah, well, here we are. So we have our pumpkin farm now. And actually, we're also going to need another steam engine, which I... Okay, good, I have two engine, steam engines. And the reason why I'm using steam instead of the highest level, which I believe is combustion, yes, combustion, is because combustion's... Well, well, I think it's just because combustion's kind of expensive and it uses only fuel, which I haven't found any of at all, <laughs> which is unfortunate. And also, another thing that's unfortunate is I haven't found any cactuses, and I wanted to make a cactus farm, but... Oh, well, we can't deal with what we don't have. And so all this requires, literally, is dirt, which I apparently don't have. Okay, so all we need is dirt, which we have plenty of. We need pumpkin seeds, which we also have plenty of. And we don't need sand, that's just the output. Actually, I don't believe a pumpkin farm outputs sand. I'm pretty sure it just stays dirt. I, so I don't know why this is here, but whatever, just part, part of the UI. So what we're going to do now is actually get out, I need to power it, so we're going to need, actually, let's just throw down a lever, there we go, and we're also going to need some coal, which we now have, and yes, so I just got some coal real quick, we're going to throw that in there, just half of it, just for now, and we're going to power this sucker, and see what happens, honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to expect, because I've never used this before, oh, looks like it's digging out the entire place, so I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to pause this and let this do its magic. And we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Actually, I want to see if I can speed it up at all with the, another steam engine temporarily. Throw that down. Get some fuel. There you go. So yeah, we're going to just try this for a little bit, see if it works. Oh, 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 weird. Okay, well, apparently pressing F8 causes your mouse to move really weirdly. I'm guessing this is just part of the... Oh, it's part of Minecraft. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, well, I, I set F8 to the same key as me... Sorry, to the same key as what I'm using for recording, which is weird. So I'm going to stop recording right now. Okay, so as you can see here with this little farm I set up, and I don't know what happened. For some reason, when I pressed F9, it crashed my game somehow, but... Well, as you can see, when I right-click these, it actually makes pumpkins that are then shot outward into this. Yeah, so we got, just got 43 pumpkins from this little lot. Pretty amazing, if I say so myself. And as you can see here, this has actually started working, but unfortunately, it kind of messed up and some of the plots got all not done <laughs> properly, so yeah. Well, I am going right through right now and actually fixing it with a fine comb. And I'm actually hoping that it will it will start planting again. But I don't know that for sure. And as you can see, I don't know why, but for some reason it's not finished. I'm guessing it because I ran out. Yeah, okay, I ran out of dirt. I'm just going to throw this in there. There we go. So now it's finished planting the dirt. And now it will actually start growing plants, hopefully. And now it is done. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm waiting for now is to see if it'll plant every single plot. And as you can see, it's actually doing the most efficient planting it can. It's doing the one design I actually had before. I believe it's the design where it has one... Oh, weird. That's weird. As you can see, it's one, two, three, four. Oh, oh I just messed that up. There we go. And it's one, two, three, four on this side, four in the middle, but for some reason on this end, it's it's just three. That is that is weird. That is very weird. And again, same with this one. It's only three on there and four, four. That is really weird. So I discovered that pressing F8 causes the 
cool slow motion effect that you see in a lot of movies. I mean, like in a lot of commentaries and stuff like that. It's just it's, okay. So I was wondering how they're always moving their mouses so smoothly. Well, now I discovered it. Yeah. Well, I'm just a noob at Minecraft. Don't hate me. And actually, I think I may have BS. Yes, I'm out of seeds. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually let me see where I'm doing. Okay, it doesn't look like I have any more seeds. I'm gonna have to make some more seeds real quick. Aha, so back at this little farm I set up, you can see there's an insane amount of pumpkins. Actually, it's not. It's nice not having to pick them up. It's kind of cool watching them all fly into there. See, we got 32 more. Oh my gosh. I mean, just the 40 that I got, had before, I converted to 6,000 EU. That is insane. That is, oh my gosh. And as you can see here, this entire thing's done planting. And actually, now that it's done planting, I'm pretty sure it's actually useless because it only has to plant once and then now it's done. And so what I'm waiting for now is, actually, I, I think you may be able to throw in bone meal. I'm not sure. Don't, like, quote me on that. But as you can see here, now that it's actually done, we're going to just throw down the pumpkin harvester right here. Now with this pumpkin, actually I probably shouldn't yeah, have this here, but the whole reason I was there was to heat that one up faster. And if you notice, when I hit certain things, it actually changes what inventory item I'm using. So for example, if I have dirt, it'll actually switch to my shovel immediately. I don't know, I mean, it, it wasn't working before, but now it's working, and I don't know what I changed to make it work, but it's working. So, as you can see, everything is, like, it's, I'm in pickaxe mode, but then it'll actually switch to my shovel. If you watch the bottom of the screen, pretty amazing. And as you can see here, this entire thing is now done, and all these are doing right now is, once I, I probably should turn them off for now, yeah, they're always, they're out of energy, anyways, but once all these crops grow, which I yeah, might as well just throw in some bone meal, they will actually let us, well, of course, get to pumpkins, and it'll automatically harvest pumpkins and send them into whatever I choose. And what I think I'm going to do is actually have them go into a pumpkin harvester, which will then go all the way into my base and put it probably into, I'd say, an energy converter. Uh, maybe, hmm, I'll have to think about it. But yes, so that's the whole plan. Ha <laughs> pretty, ha Pretty ingenious, if I say so myself. And now, yeah, I'm going to go get some bone meal, and I'm going to be right back. Back at our transmutation ta table, we're actually going to go ahead and start making a couple bone meal. And actually, I don't think I have any bone meal itself, so I'm just going to make bones in the meantime. But as you can see, when I throw that in, 4,000 EMC. That is insane. So actually, I should probably grab my... Wait, where is it? I know I have it. There you go. It's Kai Klein Star. I love how it stores that. I mean, 125,000 EMC. Wow, that is insane. And the cool thing is, I actually have another 221,000 in here, 223 almost, and I'm converting it to red matter. And it's almost, I think it's almost halfway with some like 500,000 EMC. So, yeah, I can't wait until we have another dark red matter, which will mean a lot more supplies. And now that we have our pumpkin farm going, we have, I eh, might as well just throw in like all these jack lands I don't see why not. And now we have just an insane amount of energy. And the next plan is actually to start working on industrial craft stuff. So I think I'm going to start making, if I could run over here real quick, we're going to start making some, actually I should probably start powering this generator, but we're going to make, okay, give me a sec. We're going to make solar panels. That's it. Oh, I hate it when I forget things. So, solar panels. It looks like there's two kinds. Okay, that is definitely red power. Okay, that's the red power solar panel. And here's the... Oh. So, the funny thing is, I totally spaced and I forgot that doing... Right-clicking on something in my inventory. I mean... Oh. oh wait, there it is. Okay. Well, with it enabled... For some reason, if I click on any industrial craft item, it will crash the game. But luckily, I do know how to make industrial craft items, which means we're going to have to macerate some coal, which of course means we're going to need to make some coal. And I'm going to do is throw in, I'm just going to throw in a couple redstones. Yeah, there you go. Just, there you go. Nice. What we're going to do with this redstone is target that. I'm going to make a whole stack of coal. I don't see why not. And we're going to, okay, now what we're going to do is power first the generator. So I'm going to throw that in there. Of course, the sounds are probably going to be... Nope. 
Oh, okay. And what we're gonna do now is actually target macerating coal. Okay, there you go. Now, now there's sounds. It's weird. If I turn, it just becomes a lot quieter at a certain angle. See? That is so weird. I don't know why it's doing that, but whatever. And so as you can hear, <laughs> yeah, as you can hear, the macerator is going at it, macerating as much coal as it can. And actually, I'm just going to throw in all this. And it's taking energy from the generator, so that means obviously I don't have to put in a battery, unlike the electric furnace. And also, I think... No, this isn't losing any power. But the cool thing is that I can actually send a redstone signal out of here. And it'll set it so that when if it'll emit a signal if it's full, if it's partially filled, if it's empty. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Nothing. Pretty neat. And yeah, that's basically this whole purpose. Actually, I'm going to steal some power from this. There we go. We're just going to steal some power real quick. I kind of wish I could just dis get rid of this sound file, but I don't know how to do that. If you guys know how to do that, please tell me. <laughs> and what we're going to do is throw that right... Uh, I'll just throw it right here. I don't see why not. There we go. That is weird. I hate how it just, like, is loud for... Uh, okay, yeah. Well, that is the mass raider. And as you can see here, we have our alloy furnace, which we use to make some of the cables that we have right here, the red alloy wire, and all these anodes and timers and everything that I completely did not end up using, but yeah. So basically, this is just a really kind of random episode, I guess. I'm not really 100% positive what my plans were, my original plans were, of course, just to make the farms, which I have done. So actually, I think I'm going to spend the rest of the episode making my, I guess, the farm over here. So the plan is over here, I'm actually going to make a diamond. No, not really. Well, it's not a diamond. It's more of a cobblestone farm, which means we're going to need all these block breakers, which I thought I had more. Hmm. Okay, well, we have block breakers, and the block breakers are going to be placed over... I don't know, somewhere around here. I think I'm going to place it probably over here, there. And the block breakers are going to be used, of course, to make my infinite supply of cobblestone. And what's going to happen is I'm going to first mine all this, probably flatten this entire area. Actually, you know what? I think over here is good. And, yeah, basically that's just the whole plan. So I'm going to go and start making, start making that now. Okay guys, so I did a little bit of work, and as you can see, well, now we have our second piece of red matter that is now complete, and we're 64,000 EMC into the third red matter, and I think I'm going to make another one of the energy, no, no, sorry, not the energy collectors, the, the antimatter relays, yes, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to, actually, wait, ooh, cool, I have a lot of pumpkins. See, I actually set up a pipe here that leads from the machine all the way over there, and pumps into here. So we're just gonna throw all this stuff in here, get all my precious EMC. And as you can see, I actually used quite a bit of it. I'm getting a lot of bone meal and stuff like that because I'm actually making a couple more farms. So before I only had that first farm and then that little mini one that I made right here. Well, I'm actually starting a second one right now. And the second one is, it's actually done planting. So all I need to do right now, oh, I don't know why, but I've been getting these huge FPS drops. It's really weird. If you guys know what's going on, yeah, please tell me. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just start growing all these. And what I'm going to do now is throw down another one of these pumpkin farmers. So let's just throw it right there. And actually, I have a whole nother one for later if I need to use it. Pretty awesome. Okay, I'm just going to plant all of these real quick. Won't take too long. I just need to use this inventory up so I can actually pick it up. Do, 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 do. And yes, as you can see, all the pumpkins are growing very quickly. This one's actually cutting them down just about as fast as they grow. Maybe a little bit slower, but I'm still getting a one-to-one -one ratio, as you can see. Watch. You can actually see them disappear after a couple seconds. And that one's going to go first, then that one, then that one, then that one. It's in a weird pattern that just works like that. But it's still pretty awesome how it works, and it's probably the nicest thing about the forestry mod is how you can make the farms like this. I don't really need a tree mod, obviously. I mean, a tree farm. Mostly because, well, for one, look at all the trees around. And for two, well, 
Oops. Sorry, my family is kind of annoying, and by my family I mean my cat is very annoying. So what we're doing right now is, well, what I was doing before, I'm just planting these real quick. And the cool thing about this mod is that, well, actually it auto-harvests auto everything, but it also, hmm, you know, I don't think it auto-re... Okay, never mind, I, I lied about that. Oh, dang it, what is with that lag? Ah, oh, does anyone know what that lag is? If you know, please tell me and tell me how I can fix it, because it seems to happen no matter what I do. I can't really figure out how to stop it. Oh, that's weird. This entire place doesn't have anything. Huh, weird. The seeds just disappeared. That is very interesting. Okie dokie. Well, now the seeds are all fully grown. Oh, well, mostly. There we go. Okay, they're all fully grown. And all we have to do now is power this machine which with the steam engine. So I'm just going to throw it down right here. I'm going to throw down this lever. And we're going to put in all of this coal. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of coal. The unfortunate thing about this mod is how you cannot use equivalent exchange fuel. Unfortunately, you can't use a Turner's fuel. Okay, that is getting kind of annoying. Ugh, stupid lag. Why are you lagging? Okay, if you guys know whether or not it's one of these mods, please tell me, because I have absolutely no idea. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it. Yes, so please, tell me if you guys know. And if not, well, you don't really need to tell me if you don't know. <laughs> Just say, oh, I don't know. Yeah, basically. There we go, problem solved. Nice and complete. So this one is 100% done. It's growing, it is cutting them down. And now this one is, I believe, also done. Yep, I think it's done. And I just want to make sure that that one's going to be cut, because that should be the first one cut. Or maybe not. Well, it's probably just because it's running slow right now, because it just started warming up. But, ah, okay, that is really annoying. I need to, like, I don't know, restart my computer and see if that's the problem. Because I wasn't having this problem before. That is so weird. Well, anyways, if we look, run all the way over here. Well, actually, I just totally realized something. I need to put a teleport pipe connected to it before I... Yeah, well, I totally forgot to put a teleport pipe. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. Run, 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 run. So I set the pumpkin pipes to item 2, I believe. To te Yeah, teleport pipe 2. Uh, which means that if I run over here... And I throw this right here. Set it to two. Oh, not that one. Bad. It will now send the pumpkins that it cuts instead of into oblivion. It will send them now all the way into my base. So we're gonna watch as the influx of t yeah, pumpkins. Oh, stupid lag! It just yeah, watch. And there we go. See, it's working just fine. And the cool thing is that with see, I made sturdy machines, but you can't learn. You can't learn anything. Other than maybe build, no, okay, not even build cross stuff. You can only learn equivalent exchange, and I maybe no, not red power. I don't even think you can learn industrial. Wow, you really can't learn anything in the transmutation table. That'd be really helpful if you could, but oh well. I guess the equivalent exchange mod doesn't love the other mods too much. Well, it looks like it's almost night. We're gonna just take a real quick nap, and I'll be back to show you guys what we're doing next. Okay guys, so for the first thing I want to do is actually make an advanced wooden pipe. So an advanced wooden pipe is simply made, oops, I believe it's just like that, and then wood around it. No, okay, that was wrong. It's glass around wood. No, really? Wait, it's right here. Oh, that's lying. What, what is with it? Maybe it's just one or... Huh. Okay. Hmm... There you go. Okay, I don't know what I did wrong, but here's the advanced wooden transport pipe. I'm going to see if maybe because it doesn't work. Yeah, okay, so the same pattern, it has to be at the top, okay? So the redstone has to be in the top part of the grid, and that creates an advanced wooden transport pipe. So an advanced wooden transport pipe is just a transport pipe. However, it has some benefits, and the first benefits I'll show you guys. Is if I can throw it right, mm, I might as well just throw it right there. Oops, don't mean that. I'll have to grab that from there. But the cool thing is that if I go off of the item, you can actually put items that you can tell, I mean, take out. So if I take these pumpkins and I just put a pumpkin right there, 
it will actually filter only pumpkins coming out of here. So if I power this with this engine right here, and I... Just, there you go. Oh, no, come on. Okay, well, it's not letting me do that. So I'm going to have to throw something on the ground first. Uh, let's just throw a piece of wood. Throw right there. Throw that there. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to do is power this with some redstone somewhere. Assuming, of course, I actually have something to power it with. And we're going to power it. And as you can see, we'll actually power only certain things. So I need to actually... Ah, oh, dang it. Change it to two. There we go. Okay. Whew. So now it'll start pumping out... Oops. It looks like I crushed this by accident. Oh, well. It'll start pumping out pumpkins only. It will not pump out anything else. And the pumpkins will then, of course, be sent to where I designated it. And that's all the way over here. So basically, that farm is not automatic, but it does pump out things automatically. Pretty neat. And if we look over here, you can see that this is increasing pretty fast. Not the fastest, but whatever. Who's going to complain when it gets you, like, 15,000 EMC per just one time? It's pretty awesome, I have to say that. As you can see, we have... Actually, I don't really have anything to show you right now. But the next thing I want to do is actually make a quarry. I think I want to place a quarry... Um, I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to place it, but I think it was somewhere... I'm pretty sure it's over there. That's where I wanted to place it. Somewhere in the snow biome, so I wouldn't have to cut down all these trees, even though I have the timber mod. But, yeah, basically just over there. Or maybe even... Mm, no, not, not over here, because this is a sanctuary. And I like how that just lines up just perfectly if I stand right there. Perfect. Okay. So it's going to be over there, probably where that tree is, or a little bit closer, maybe. And in, actually, no, I think I may have it over water, just so that it will not get really... It won't annoy me with all of its shenanigans of trying to actually do something... Well, of lava. Yes, it won't annoy me with lava. I love how I just start talking about random crap like that. And then also I was suggested by... Oh, dang it, I think it was Rush? No, was it Rush? Oh, darn it. Well, he suggested that I make a one by one, a one by one space quarry that has a infinite lava water thing that makes cobblestone. And I was thinking about it, but it, in long terms it'd probably be impractical when you can just use a block breaker, but good idea nonetheless. Oh man, I can't... Oh. Oh no, I died. No, I'm just kidding, I didn't die. But speaking of dying, I need to get armor soon. I do have dark matter, and I actually have that new piece of red matter. But unfortunately, it's just really, really expensive for armor. So yeah, I can't make it as of right now. Now as you can see, this thing's pumping out eh, kind of fast. Not the fastest, but what do you expect? Take that out. And as you can see, it will not pump out the black hole band. Because I did not designate it to pump out the black hole band in the advanced wooden block. And actually, I think the texture may be slightly different because this is an advanced block. I'm not exactly sure, but whatever. Oh, all right. See, what is with those lag spikes? Oh, that's annoying. So if you guys know why I'm getting these random lag spikes, please, 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 please tell me because I have no idea. And actually, I want to get rid of this and see if it'll actually dig it. I mean, it'll actually get the pumpkins from this area. I'm not exactly sure, but it's just a theory. So basically, we have this amazing machine that is running pretty well. I have two of them running now, so it's going to be double the speed. And I have that other pumpkin farm. And eventually, of course, I'm going to make a third pumpkin farm, but not right now. And my first priority right now is to make that quarry. So let's go see how you make a quarry. Do, 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 quarry. Yeah, this is really nice. I can just type that in. Oh, So it's two diamond... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dang. Two diamond gears, two gold gears, three iron gears, one redstone, and one diamond pickaxe. Oh, wow, that is actually. Let's do the, let's do the math. Okay, so that's eight diamonds. That's sixteen. Is that sixteen gold? Yeah, that's sixteen gold. That's another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight iron. And no, sorry, I lied about the diamonds. It's actually, I believe. 11 diamonds, wow. <laughs> and a redstone, yeah. And all this cobble and iron, and I mean, all this cobble and wood as well. 
Oh, that's pretty dang expensive. But we're going to make it because I love you guys and I want to make another quarry. And actually, I believe this is episode 7, isn't it? Oh, now, yeah, see, what is with that lag? Yeah, so episode 7 and I'm already making a quarry. Man, I'm pretty sure season 1 me would be so jelly of me. And yeah, we're going to need to make some gears. I'll do that real quick. Okay, so I got all the resources, and what we need are <laughs> all these sticks. I don't think I need near as many as this, or maybe I do, actually. I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to throw those in there, and then, of course, we put... Oh, no, sorry, not like that. We're going to need cobble after that, and I should probably flip those. There we go, so we need our cobble gears, and then now we need iron gears. And, of course, lastly, or not lastly, we need gold gears. And now, lastly, we need diamond gears. So we're going to need four of those, three of these. So I had one extra iron gear. And then now we're just going to need two of these. There you go. Nice. So with all these gears that we have, let's actually reorder them. And, of course, we're going to need some pickaxe. No, one pickaxe. So I'm going to get some wood real quick. I totally forgot about that. Eh, we'll just get that one piece. There we go. And now, of course, we make our pickaxe. So we're going to need the three iron, like this, in a V. We're going to need a piece of redstone right there. We're going to need two diamonds. I don't get why we have redstone, but whatever. And then lastly, two gold. And that makes a quarry. So now this quarry can be placed anywhere I want, and it can be used however I want. And we're also going to have to make some landmarks, which means we're going to need some lapis lazuli, which I'm pretty dang sure I have plenty of. I mean, I'm, I thought I had that huge chest of it, so let's go find if we still have it. And it... Yeah, no. Huh, weird. Where did my lapis go? Huh, interesting. Well, I had a whole bunch of lapis. It's gone. I think I used it all in the crafting thing. Yeah, in the transmutation table. So we're going to have to make some. Okay, of course, lapis is not too expensive. As you can see, we already made nine lapis. And I don't even think I need that much, but whatever. So I believe it's just a stick. No, okay, so it's a... This. It's a redstone torch. We only need three. Plus lapis. And that makes a landmark. So now these landmarks, when placed with a quarry, will actually let me... By, actually, I... I think I want to place it right here. I don't see why not. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll place one right there. I'm going to place one all the way. I'm probably going to place it in the water somewhere. Oh, wait. No. Hmm. This is so tempting. I think I want to... Yeah, I'll place it over there. Yeah, let's give me, give me a sec. Okay, so as you can see here, we have our quarry nice and set up and some sheep in the middle of it for some reason. And we're going to need some... Okay, it doesn't look like we have any machines, so we're going to have to make some machines. And what I may want to do is actually make a factory of sorts. And I'm going to do that. Actually, yeah, let's make some machines. But let's place, play that, yeah, place down the koi real quick. Oh, don't you love it when I completely forget what I'm saying? There we go. Nice. So I'm going to make some machines real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see here, I set up a little wireless redstone. I mean, not really. No, it's not wireless. Wow, that was so wrong. Okay, so it's a build craft piped system that's going from here to there. And as you can see, it is running very, very quickly now. That it's Well, none of them actually heated up, but it's four of them together. So basically, those are running at pretty, pretty high. Oh, yeah, just watch that. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, that's really, really fast. And, well, I, I, of course, I can expand it later, make as many as I want. Literally, if I wanted to, I can make it, like, ten build craft of the boat. I mean, ten of those machines. Pretty neat. And all we're waiting for now, as you, actually, I think it's working on both sides. Of the, yes, it is. It's working on both sides at the same time, probably because it knows it has enough speed. And, yeah, I'm going to go sleep. Actually, let's watch this a little bit more. Hopefully, it'll finish in time before it becomes night and I feel sorry for all the cows and sheep that are just hanging out in the middle of the quarry they're gonna get killed soon no I'm just kidding they won't be killed oh well, I don't think they'll be killed I don't remember if it actually kills animals in the quarry but whatever 
And of course, it's still not night because the sun is still up, kind of. Yes, I've become infamous for sleeping. I mean, trying to sleep when it's still day. I don't know why, but that's just how I am. And so we're going to run over here real quick. And yes, theoretically, it should mine through the ice and destroy the ice and turn it into water, just like that. However, I'm not exactly sure because... And also, oh, I just realized something. This ice may actually turn... I mean, the water may turn back into... Oh, that's a, that's a problem. Hmm. Wait. No, okay, it looks like it just destroys the entire ice block. That's a good thing, actually. And, yeah, so basically it's just going to start mining this entire dang thing. I mean, I made this area huge. But, yeah, pretty awesome. And also, I was thinking about installing Buildcraft 3.0, and I want to see how, I mean, if, for one, it'll, if it'll work, and it, two, if you guys will like it, because Buildcraft 3.0 versus 2.0, which is what I'm using currently, is really, it's interesting. So, let me give you the gist of it. Basically, you get lasers that can be used to make these cool, complex little circuits, and lens, and lights, and lasers, and it's, it's pretty complex, but it seems like it'd be pretty fun. Yeah, that's literally the whole gist of it. And all I'm doing now is waiting for these to heat up, and eventually that thing will start going a lot faster. And yeah. And the cool thing is what I can do to actually heat them up faster is if I can hook up a regular engine. If we can... Okay, well, it doesn't look like I have any redstone engines, but if you hook up a redstone engine to one of those and power it, it will actually heat it up faster. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, actually, I don't really know what else to do with this episode other than work on the most amazing diamond contraption I'm yet because I'm gonna to have to make a lot of changes to it because unfortunately the new I believe it's the gem of eternal density it's it's different I'll say that I haven't worked with it too much but it's not the same gem of eternal density we're all grew to know and love and I just love how they all fly into there and then they get teleported to my main base Unfortunately, I don't have a way to hook them up directly to my power yet for the equivalent, uh, equivalent exchange stuff yet, but oh well. And it looks like some weeds are growing. I think... Are those weeds? Yeah, those are weeds. Okay. So apparently weeds grow if you don't have, if you don't have any seeds growing. So we're going to have to get some seeds real quick. Okay, of course I don't have any seeds. We're going to have to get some seeds real quick. And, uh, dang it, I hate it when I run out of food, and I just, ah, everything's going wrong this episode. What is going on? Yes, I'm no, sorry, but yet another fail episode. But, well, actually, I guess, I guess not. I did make two pumpkin farms, three, technically. I did, in fact, make... Where did all my seeds go? <laughs> what? I had seeds, didn't I? Did I throw them into here? No. Where'd my seeds go? Oh, wow. That was a fail. Okay, well, yeah, so basically, this is kind of a, it's like a win fail episode. I guess it's just accepted nowadays that my videos are partially win and partially fail. It's so just gonna plant these. And yeah, it looks like everything's growing just fine. I'm gonna have to of course, get all these crops going. And nice, nice. It's going great. And the cool thing is I don't actually have to pump those out. And it's pumping out very quickly. Nice. I want to see how these ones are doing as well. Hopefully they're doing just as well as everything else. Oh, did one of them just... Yes, one did. If I close this up. Um, there you go. Problem solved. Okay. Whoa. Ah, see, it's funny. Whenever I get near these, it just lags me. I'm guessing that these are what's causing the lag, probably because the game isn't, like, supposed to be doing this, but I'm not exactly sure what this is with the game. Oh, well, whatever. And as you can see, this one is green. It looks like that one may be... Oh, dang it. <laughs> it may be... Oh, dang it. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I screwed it up. No, okay, it's still running. I... Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why that one's running faster. It shouldn't be. Is it? Oh, weird. Okay, well, basically, all of these are working just fine, and I'm getting an insane amount of pumpkins and just about everything. I'm going to turn that off so it doesn't explode. Yeah, basically, I am set for life right now, and I realize I should probably hook up something to the 
quarry so I don't end up oh yeah see it's for some reason going near those things causes me to lag I don't know why or how but it does so let's see quarry we need to hook up an item teleport pipe I'm gonna set it to frequency yeah, let's hook it up right there let's see frequency let's make item teleport pipe three okay which means we're gonna have to make another one over here um where should we put it where should we put it I might as well just put it like right here for now. Oh, whoa, wow. <laughs> Dang. That's absolutely insane. Five. Okay, let's just throw all this stuff in. That's. Oh my goshness. That is an insane amount of EMC. So, yes, basically, this mod is absolutely amazing. Gets you 47,000 EMC in just like an hour. That is. Oh, wow. That is amazing. And yeah, now let's hook that up to three, switch that to true, and eventually it should start pumping in items from the quarry, because as of right now, it is probably just cutting down all the ice. I actually hope that these two refreeze, because I don't want it to... Hmm. Yeah, whatever, it'll have to deal with it. And actually what I can do to prevent them from lighting, I mean to, for, to prevent them from... oh. Okay, I guess you can't place stuff there. <laughs> it's just like, no, bad, no placing stuff there. <laughs> okay, well, we're just gonna have to light up this area. Okay, hmm. I'm torn. Should I throw down a glowstone? I don't see why not. So, yes, yeah, so you throw a glowstone or something like that, and it'll start melting all the ice, and this ice will not reheat, I guess you can say. So, actually, I'm probably gonna have to do that in a couple places just to prevent it from doing that. Because unfortunately, it will reheat. I guess is is it reheat? Would it be reheat or just yeah, whatever. And also, I wanted to point out that build craft is weird because if I'm over ice, the build craft pipes act as if I'm running on ice. See, I'm skidding. I'm yeah, that is just weird. But then uh, all of a sudden, when I'm running and I go over regular stuff, I just start running normally. See, no skidding. That is so so weird. That is very interesting. I'm guessing it just takes the properties of the item above it. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, hello, Mr. Skitty Cow. <laughs> See, the cow is a perfect example. The cow is just like, skidding across the ice. I wonder how it works over water. Okay, water is just like ground because, oh, weird. Very, very weird. So basically now, to recap what we've done this episode, farm number one, farm number two, farm number three, this, that, set up right over there, and this yeah basically so i believe this episode is now over this is yeah i'm pretty sure this episode's been going on for quite a while this is luke you have been watching opk gaming and i hope you all have a very very nice day